Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Yusef Scott and I'm coming to you today um, because I wanted to give you guys a little advice that I think will help you in your trading journey. Before I get started, let me say I thank each and every one of you for being here, taking the time out of your busy weekend, your day, whether you're at work, whether you're at home, wherever you are, you're watching this video um, and I, I thank you. Um, for, for just taking that time. Of course, this video has been made on a weekend, but you could be watching this 10 months from now, that I, you know, 10 months after I made the video, whenever or wherever you're watching the video, thank you just for taking the time to watch it. All of my loyal viewers and subscribers, thank you very much, all right? So what I wanted to do, I wanted to help you out with trading volume. That's a topic that me being a, a, a mentor, a trainer, a teacher, a lot of people come my way and they do not understand volume. So many people, they come my way and they, they, don't, they don't understand volume and they find themselves in these predicaments while trading and it's like crazy. Like, why are you trading so heavy? Your, your account doesn't support that size of volume, all right? Something that I want to um, to let you guys know is, you know, like I, my perspectives on things might be a little different than others. And what I mean by that is, um, I tend to look at things, uh, you know, I, I, I analyze things, you know, I analyze the charts, I, I'm very, I'm very, um, anal about things I, I you know I I'm, I'm anal about getting things done the right way so I happen to and I, I happen to analyze things and you know I've been told that quite often my wife tell me what well, you know you know you're you're uh, you just analyze everything before you do it everything's a method and and you know and that's that's true like even even when I was working you know I always uh, looked at things from a different angle and whether it helped me or not that's just that's my makeup it's in my DNA so I want you guys to know that when you're trading volume size matters a whole lot say it again volume size matters a whole lot it will be the determining factor of your survival while trading Forex. If you get into the habit of trading too heavy, you can fail a lot faster than someone trading at a low volume. Let me just give you a little example real quick. You have two guys, one of which has a trading account of $100,000. The other person, he only has one hundred dollars. All right. Now, the the guy with the hundred thousand dollar account, you know, he decides to trade. I'm just going to use something outrageous. He decides to trade at no scratch that, scratch that. Let's let's not do that. Let's go with, you have, you have someone, he has $10,000 in his account. And the other guy, he has only a mere $100 in his account. And they, they, both, they both want to trade. They're, they're very uh, anxious to get into the, to the trade. And, um, but they have two different mindsets, all right? One, the guy with the 100, I'm sorry, the guy with the $10,000 in his account, he opens up a trade at $1,000 a pip. All right, $1,000 a pip. For those of you that do not know, that would be that. Move the decimal to the, to the right one time. Okay, now I'm being outrageous with it, but I want to want to get you give you guys a point that you guys understand this. All right, then you have the other guy 
he trades at a modest ten cent a pip. All right. Now they both have the same mindset. The mindset is we're going to scout today. All right. So they both they both scout. They both make one pip. They close out their trade. All right. Now the difference between the two is this guy he risked he had a whole lot of risk on his account. They were both successful. They both made one pip. In fact, he made a thousand dollars, give or take. This guy, he only made ten cent, give or take. But you know what? This guy right here, he actually had more strength in the market. Because while he only had one hundred dollars in his account. He was only trading at 10 cent. All right. This guy, he was trading at $1,000 a pip, but he only had $10,000 in his account. So, with that, depending on what pair he was trading, like I said, this is, I'm exaggerating. He might, he might not have been able to even place the trade in real life, but for the sake of this example. He made $1,000 off this trade, but he was risking a lot more of his account just to make that $1,000. So let's break this down. I'm going to break this down. All right, this guy, he only had, it's that fat finger syndrome, you guys. So he had $10,000 in his account, all right? He was trading at $1,000 per pip. All right. So that goes to show that he only stood to go out of, you know, if this was realistic, it probably, if this was real, probably wouldn't be able to place the trade anyway. But for the sake of the example, with a thousand dollars a pip, with ten thousand in his account, he can only stand the market going against him. Only ten pips. So he had a ten pip range. And actually, I'm going to put a ten pip range before stop out or margin call. All right. While this person here, better example, all right? This guy had a $100 account trading at, let's just say, point, let's say, let's keep it simple. Let's say 10 cent a pip per pip, all right? But the only difference is this guy had 1,000 pips, a 1,000 pip range before stop out. Okay, that's the difference. And I'm going to say, thousand pip range before stop out give or take so you have two people they're both trading on the same pair at the same time their objective is to gain one pip close out they're done for the day they're both successful but if the situation was reversed the situation was if, if, if they were unsuccessful to close out that pip or to close out that trade at one pip it would hurt 
this guy's account more than it would this guy. This guy would have a very minimal loss. Very minimal. Very minimal. This guy would take more of a, a beating. So that goes to show do not trade too heavy. Do not keep your volume at a good volume size. And as you grow your account, you increase your volume. Very simple. Very simple. That way, the market could go anywhere it could go. It doesn't matter where it goes. You are safe. Doesn't matter. So I just wanted to give you guys this, this example of the two guys, one with a lot of money, one with not a lot of money, but they both are successful. They both made one pip, but the weight that pip had on their account made the difference in whether they trade again tomorrow. Especially if they, especially if, if that pip didn't go in the right direction. So I just want to give you guys this. Hopefully you guys kind of hopefully this message is kind of sunk in because this is very true and this happens every day to traders every single day so um, I want you guys to understand this and um, let it let it seek let it let it you know get down into your into your mental so you can um, understand how to trade at a, at a good good volume all right until next time you guys I look to speak to you guys soon all right peace